This video is going to talk a little bit more about the gradebook. Now with Brightspace I would say there are pros and cons compared to Blackboard. More pros than cons fortunately. The pros are I think the gradebook is much more powerful. I think once it's set up it's easier to view grades and edit grades. Uh, it definitely looks nicer with the color codes and grade schemes and whatnot. Obviously as I said in a previous uh, video that Students, as long as you allow them to, they can click on the statistics bar and see all the statistics. You don't have to send that to them like I used to. I would say the con is you have to do more work to uh, set it up to get it the way you want it to, to look. I think Blackboard had fewer clicks and pages in order to set things up. Okay, okay so let's click on, for example, quizzes. And what you'll see here is that this first quiz, Latitude, Longitude, Sun Angles, it's visible because you don't see this hidden thing, but then you see this little, uh, looks like a little ribbon grade item. What that means is this particular quiz is linked to the gradebook. Now, in Blackboard, when a student would take a quiz, it would automatically appear in that column in Blackboard. With Brightspace, the, when a student submits something, even if it's self-graded by Brightspace, unless you link it by seeing this little guy here, it doesn't automatically get entered into the gradebook. It waits for an instructor to manually enter it. So if you have quizzes and tests and discussions that are automatically graded um, with rubrics or just grading quizzes, with, for example, multiple choice, where it does not require instructor input, you have to take one extra step in Brightspace that you didn't have in Blackboard, and that is linking it to the gradebook. Okay, so let, we're going to use this quiz temperature as an example. So I've set up all my quizzes. Basically, these were all imported from uh, Blackboard. I'm going to click the down arrow. I'm going to hit Edit. Okay, quiz temperature. Now here is where you want to choose your category. So in this case, the category is quiz. If you don't have categories, then you can just add one. This is more for organizing uh, your particular quizzes. The key is you want to click on this little assessment tab over here. And this is where I, my opinion is you sort of have to do everything twice, whereas in Blackboard you had to do it once. So for here, we're going to click Add Grade Item. And you're basically going to do the same thing you did when you first added the quiz. You're going to do something like quiz, you know, oops. Temperature, okay, and I'll just use the same thing for the short name because that's not too long. Okay, now here for category, you want to choose from the breakdowns that you had when you set up your gradebook screen. Okay, and then I'm going to choose start date, end date, display in the calendar, and for example, the start date on this one is going to be, I think the 30th at 12.01 a.m. and the end date is going to be June 5th by the end of the day and then I hit save save and close and now what you see is this actually is linked so when a student goes to take the quiz they will actually get the score automatically put into the gradebook okay so here's grades we click manage grades and you can see down here that the uh, ones that I did here were uh, entered in as quizzes. So I'll go into student mode. I click on, okay, next, 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 dismiss. I click on quizzes and I see, oh, I've got this quiz here so I can take this particular quiz. Okay, and then it says a start quiz. All right, you got to click on the, on the button. Okay, so let me go back to the latitude and longitude quiz. And you see, here's that little pop-up window we talked about in a previous message in the, in the welcome widget. So let's click on this quiz, latitude, longitude, sun angles. We're going to click on assessment. Okay, here I'm going to add a grade item and we're going to call it latlong quiz. And we'll give it the same short name. And we'll say quiz, start date, end date, display and calendar, and let's just use today's date as an example. Hit save and close. Okay, 
So now if I go back as a student, and there's my welcome window again because I keep flipping back and forth. I go to quizzes, latitude, longitude. So I go to quiz, and now I have to figure out why I don't see a start quiz button, but that's how you actually set it up.